What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you a preview of a new and upcoming tweak called Barricade. Now this is actually from the developer of Jellylock, and this tweak, Barricade, is actually the successor of Jellylock. So if you guys were waiting for an update to Jellylock, this is going to be what you're going to get. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, this is actually a really cool tweak. It has the exact same type of function that you would get from Jellylock in terms of quickly launching applications from your lock screen, it just does it in a different way. So the reason that the developer actually didn't just update Jellylock, that's because he wanted to incorporate Touch ID into unlocking these applications. So you can see right here that we have four applications right down here, and we can add up to eight applications. Now these are obviously customizable, you can set these up in the settings, and then once you select the applications that you want to be able to quickly launch from the lock screen, all you have to do is just swipe down your finger and you'll see you get this little nice uh, white line animation uh, right there and as you pull it down and go to your Touch ID, you can see that we actually have uh, the application outlined right there in just a green little box and then once you put your finger over the Touch ID, that's going to actually unlock the application. But it's a little bit smoother than that right here. So all you have to do is just swipe down the application on your lock screen and you'll see right here if we swipe down, it's gonna open up directly to the weather application. So that's really how this works. If we go into the settings here and we scroll down to Barricade and open that up, you'll see that you just need to enable it right up here. If you make any type of changes, you will have to respring your device for those changes to take effect. And right here is where you're going to set your app shortcuts. Really simple to set up, just tap on this, and then here are your eight shortcuts. So just tap on number one, select the application that you want set, and that's going to be the number one app on your lock screen. So very simple to set up, very self-explanatory. So again, if you want to reset all these, you can just tap on reset all shortcuts. Going back here, we also have auto unlock. So if we untoggle this, this basically allows people to use their Touch ID. So if you don't have Touch ID, then you might want to toggle this on. That's going to automatically unlock the device and open up that application. But this is kind of discouraged, as you can see right here, if you have Touch ID, because the whole reason of this tweak is being able to quickly swipe down an application, leave your finger over the Touch ID sensor, and then opening up that application. Right down here, we can also show app badges. So if we don't want to do that, you can obviously toggle that on or off right there. So I'll toggle that off. And then right here, you can also change the opacity. So if you wanted to make it a little bit more transparent, then you can do so just by swiping that down a bit. Now, if you have any type of questions or anything like that, it's all right here in the FAQ, but in actuality, this is all pretty self-explanatory and you shouldn't have really any trouble setting this up or using it. So I'm gonna go ahead and respring the device just because I made a few changes and then we'll see what changes have taken place. All right, so now that we're resprung, you can see that our application icons are a little bit more transparent right there. And again, you just swipe through just like that. And then if we wanna open up an application, you can see we'll just swipe down and then it opens up just like that. Just scan your finger after dragging down and then the icon will pop up right there. Let's do this one more time and it'll automatically unlock. Again, you don't have to have Touch ID in order to use this. You can just use uh, the auto unlock feature within the settings. So again, we just swipe down just like that, opens right up. So this is a really cool tweak. I highly recommend checking this out. The only thing that I would really add to this awesome tweak is maybe just a different layout of the icons on the lock screen. Maybe just make it look a little bit different rather than just having the icons right down there at the bottom. But other than that, I think this is a really cool tweak and I haven't had any bugs to complain about, but you can usually count on Max Katzman, the developer of this tweak, to put out a pretty solid tweak. So let me know what you guys think about this new successor to Jellylock in the comments below. I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say about it. All right, guys, as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. And of course, if you want to stay up to date with everything Apple and everything jailbreak, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.